So the second button down is your effects and graphics. I'm gonna go ahead and put in two reverbs and a delay just to have on tap in case anyone needs reverb or delay, especially the person with in-ears. Click on the first effects unit, go to change device type. This is where you'll find the library of the effects that you can drop into the rack. So I'll choose a 780. I'll use the crosshair button to scroll down. I'll choose a plate. I'll scroll down. And I'll also put in a delay and make sure that I engage the tap tempo for use. That allows me to use this button for tap tempo across the desk. For safety, I always put in the three band frequency compressor in case I need to put that on a vocal or something that I need to drop in quickly. So one of my favorite units that I go to is the three band compressor. And I'll just put that in there for standby for something to insert on a vocal or an instrument if I need to fix something really quick. If I hit that effects and graphics button again, I'll go to the graphics page. This is where I could drop in the third octave EQs on each of those monitor mixes. So I'll click on the very top one, go to the drop down menu on the left hand side, and select aux one. The most important thing to remember is to turn it on. Scroll down to the second one, aux two. As you can see, my labeling goes right with according to the auxes that I've already labeled. Scroll down again, three, in, and four. I'll only put third octaves on my actual wedges. I'm not gonna put them on my in-ears. I'll use a parametric on my in-ears if need be. Done some more work. I've got some more accomplished store, overwrite scene, okay. At this point, this is when I would have my band to come in and do sound check. I've overwritten everything, I've colored, I've labeled, I've put EQs on all my outputs, I've made sure that I'm passing signal to my monitor wedges, and now I would have the band come in and start their monitor check. As easy as this, I would start a kick drum, grab my first mix, flip the fader and start contributing into that mix as soon as they started doing sound check. As soon as everybody gets what they need and has a nice mix in their wedges or their in-ears, I would store again, store to the next scene, label that scene sound check or show start, press OK, and now I have a scene built that's basically a template for the band with no contributions, no EQ, everything plugged in and ready to go and the next scene would be the show start. It's that simple to get up and running very quickly on the Midas consoles. Thanks for checking out the video. Make sure you go to MidasConsoles.com, our YouTube. I'm Kyle with Midas. Thank you for watching Music Group TV.